Tesla Automobiles, which Elon Musk built, has been disrupting the transportation industry. Thus, in this video, I will share with you about Elon Musk's revealed electric aircraft or VTOL this time. Welcome to Elon Musk era. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and more. Eventually, it had to happen, and now it has. In an attempt to reveal Tesla's aircraft concept, Elon Musk has finally shown off the design. Further, Elon Musk and Tesla's engineers are constantly thinking of new places to take their talents. So assuming they don't do that is a complete misconception. Additionally, they don't settle with limited focus, always striving to improve things on a grand scale, at different scales even. That's how visionaries work. Now, what are the practical implications of this? Did you know that there is a Marvel Cinematic Universe film featuring Elon Musk? In case you're not aware of it, it would be both worth your time to watch the second Iron Man movie. Rather than talk about Elon Musk's acting skills, we will be discussing something he envisions for Tesla. Robert Downey Jr.'s character, Tony Stark, made a cameo appearance in that we watched him shake Elon Musk's hand and compliment him on the Merlin engines. Musk replied with a smile and said he had an idea for an electric jet, and Tony answered saying they would make it work. Meanwhile, it has finally been revealed by Elon Musk which aircraft Tesla has proposed. And we have to say, it is mind-blowing. Furthermore, every tech billionaire, every engineer, and every designer at Tesla dream about creating something monumental. The question is, how monumental will it be? No worries, we've got you covered in the video today, in which I will share everything you need to know about Tesla's VTOL electric aircraft. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has spoken about expanding the company's business beyond electric cars and trucks. So, one of his goals is to design and build a supersonic electric plane. According to Musk, the plane he wants won't be conventional airplanes. Instead, they will soar to high altitudes using vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, technology. Before utilizing battery power to reach speeds of over 768 miles per hour. And this is because the development of an electric VTOL aircraft has always been Musk's intention. Further, Musk proposed the idea in 2009 while speaking to TechCrunch. He stated, an electric plane only gets more feasible as battery energy improves. Money isn't a problem for Musk since he is the richest man in the world. In addition to being the CEO of two multi-billion dollar companies, SpaceX and Tesla, he is also the brain behind the boring company, Neuralink and OpenAI. Meanwhile, he is only held back by the amount of work on his desk from developing the next generation airplane. As Musk tweeted back in 2021, I'm so dying to do a supersonic VTOL electric jet, but I already have way too much on my plate. Any more work and my brain would explode. In response to a question about the VTOL electric aircraft, he said he and Tesla have already enough on their plates. Moreover, Musk acknowledged that while he was confident that a prototype electric VTOL would be very easy to make, a volume production with high reliability and low cost, as well as passing all regulations, would be a hundred times more challenging. Musk noted that he had discussed the idea with some of his friends and girlfriends. According to Joe Rogan on his podcast, the most interesting thing about an electric plane is you want to go as high as possible. So you need a certain energy density in the battery pack because you have to overcome gravitational potential energy. Meanwhile, Musk evidently has given a lot of thought to this project, judging from his statements. And it was also pointed out that the energy you use in my cruise is very low and that you can recapture a large amount of your gravitational potential energy on the way down. So you don't need any kind of reserve fuel because you would have the energy of height. Additionally, at higher altitudes, one can attain supersonic speeds with less energy per mile. And you can reach supersonic speeds at certain altitudes with less energy per mile, as well as less energy than an aircraft at 35,000 feet. Tesla's Model V, designed to implement the best electric car technology into an aerial platform, is a VTOL concept that Musk is interested in. And from computer-generated image, we can't help but notice how much it resembles a flying saucer. However, the idea was not Tesla's, and this was because it was created by a British industrial designer and researcher, Tom Abbott Davies. Moreover, the design was seen by Musk, who commented on it on Twitter, saying that it is pretty cool. According to eVTOL News, the Model V is not based on a flying saucer, but is instead based on the shape of a manta ray and can transport multiple passengers with titanium turbine blades that can fly vertically, as well as a gimbal that switches between forwarding flight and vertical flight. The design is highly detailed, 
Additionally, a gyroscopic stabilization system ensures a smooth flight experience. Also, three motors are powered by lithium-ion batteries. A 1250 kilowatt motor and two 650 kilowatt brushless motors with rotor blades. Then, all of these factors add up to a function as a distributed electric propulsion system. As a result, if one part of the aircraft fails, the aircraft will still be able to land safely. The retractable landing gear is hidden between a carbon fiber underbody of the Model V's exterior. Further, the titanium shell is attached to a magnesium fuselage, and the enclosed canopy can be made wide enough for two people to sit. In 2014, while still at Stowe's school, Abbott Davies started drawing the Tesla Model V using a pencil. At Lowborough University, he worked with 3D CAD program to finalize the design, SolidWorks to finalize the rendering, and KeyShot to render the CAD files during the 2017 school year. In 2019, Abbott Davies graduated from the institution. He wished to intern at Tesla, and this design was submitted as part of his internship application. Abbott Davies didn't get the internship and is seeking employment as an industrial designer for a manufacturer of electric or hybrid VTOLs. Meanwhile, there is a lot more for us to share than that, and you would be wrong to think that we have nothing else to share with you. So, make sure to stay tuned and leave your comments about this video in the comments below. Going back, it is said that there will also be a Tesla helicopter. Antono Paglia, the designer of Tesla helicopter, seems to believe that the helicopter may arrive soon. In this way, the helicopter represents Tesla as an organization. In the same way as supersonic VTOLs, Tesla does not have the time or need to manufacture electric helicopters right now. Moreover, in Antonio's opinion, the helicopter would be built when Tesla has improved battery technology that can power flying machines. Then, a futuristic looking machine that is both efficient and fast is what Antonio envisions. Additionally, according to Antonio, the Tesla helicopter would be able to perform tasks such as safety and patrol. Even in times of emergency, it might be able to assist, making it an ideal tool for safety and patrol departments, which could make air and ground patrols cheaper, easier, and more efficient. Meanwhile, unlike conventional helicopters, the Tesla helicopter has five blades. Unlike most helicopters, which have three or two. Furthermore, as the helicopter ascends and descends, the rotors modulate to lift force to provide a smoother flight. To maintain stability, the Tesla helicopter has an exoskeleton-like design. In the same way, two small fins on either side of the helicopter can serve the same purpose. Also, the fins look like those you might find on a fixed-wing aircraft, but they are much smaller. And there is a fully enclosed cockpit in the concept. Although it may be an oversight on the designer's part, we think Tesla would not want to include a feature to toggle the covering or shield on top of the cockpit to allow the pilot to adjust from having a direct view to having a screen-connected view. Such a feature could especially be useful when flying in poor weather conditions such as snowstorms, sandstorms, and especially heavy rain. In the meantime, Tesla hasn't expressed any opinion about this design concept, and it's not the only company planning to build an electric aircraft. Moreover, the prototype named Alice showed up in 2017 at Aviation. Compared to Tesla, Alice is more notable because it was the first all-electric plane that was commercially viable. Further, the plane is capable of carrying 9 people and has a range of 600 miles. And Alice is a viable option for some short-haul regional airlines because of its features and specifications. Manufacturing copies of the product, which come with a range downgrade, may still be useful on some routes. According to Aviation, Aviation plans to hold an inaugural flight, but the certification process for the Alice aircraft is expected to take some time. Also, the aircraft won't be commercially available until 2024. One of the first all-electric aircraft in the commercial aviation industry would be available if another company doesn't beat it to the punch. Meanwhile, perhaps you have an idea about it already. But in case you're not, the Lockheed Martin company, Sikorsky, is interested in building an electric aircraft as well. The company has been responsible for some of the most successful helicopter designs in America. Moreover, their project is the Sikorsky Firefly which is an all-electric helicopter developed solely in the interest of research. Then, a Sikorsky 300C helicopter. The Firefly's engines were swapped out for an electric motor and lithium-ion batteries. Further, it has been dubbed as the world's first fully electric helicopter. Despite being primitive, the helicopter can only carry a pilot for a few minutes at 92 miles per hour and can only last 12 to 15 minutes that speed. Although the helicopter's battery runs out, the blades will still auto-rotate allowing the pilot to land in any open area. 
That's all for this video about Elon Musk's revealed electric aircraft, Tesla, or VTOL. And thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on Elon Musk and his companies, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.